Alright, how's it going guys? My name is KC and welcome to Monster Jam Urban Assault. Hang on. Shit is way too loud. For those of you guys who remember my Monster Jam the game series that I took over a year to finish, I said in the series finale that the game had a sequel. And that's exactly what we're gonna play. Little fun fact, I also played this game just as much as I played the last game. Anyways, because I've gotten quite a bit of requests to play this game, and because I've noticed that my Monster Jam the Game series has been getting quite a bit of traction for the past week, I decided that there was no better time to play this game and now, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Now, if any of you guys were to ask me which one of the two games I liked more, the first one or this one, I'm terribly sorry to say this, but I like the first game better for a number of reasons that I'm gonna point out throughout this series, as there are quite a bit of issues that I had with this game throughout my years of playing it as a kid, and I'm gonna share that with you guys. So let's get started. We're gonna make a new profile, good old KFC. Now the first plus that this game has over the last one, obviously, is that it's got a whole lot more content. Like, check this out. Everything's been divided into its own section. Instead of having the cups in the different environments like the last game, everything's just been divided into sections. So World Series, everything stadiums is in World Series. Speedster, the outdoor racetracks, Smasher. It's a few other bonus mini games that you can play that weren't in the last game, but they're, they're pretty cool. And of course, Stuntman, where you just pull a bunch of stunt. I was originally going to just do one section for every video, but you know, I decided to just mix it up and do three of each section for every video. So for World Series, well, first of all, for World Series, you can only pick one truck and that's the truck you're going to be playing as throughout the whole World Series. And you know, obviously I'm gonna go ahead and choose Maximum Destruction because he was always my favorite. And I want that Maximum Destruction power, that Max D luck. Okay, but check this out. Two freestyles, one stadium race, move on to the next opponent two freestyles, one stadium race, and so on. There's a whole lot more freestyles and stadium races in this bitch. So let me explain how I'm gonna do this, all right? Do three events for every section for every video. So for this video, we're gonna do these three, and then we're gonna move on to Speedster. You can play as whoever you want in there. I'll just play as Gravedigger. So three events for Speedster. It cycles between race circuit, head to head, and eliminator. Head to head, it's, uh, it wasn't in the last game, but I find it to be very interesting, very fun. For the Smasher series, you know, it cycles between a Devastator, this trick shot skill jump thingy, I don't know what the fuck that is, and another Devastator. I'll, I'll get into detail when I actually reach this event. And last but not least, Stuntman. And it's all just a pattern, you know, you got this event, it's a monster jump event, this is the skill jump. You'll actually see what you're supposed to do in there once I actually get to it. I have no idea what this is, I forgot. I'm actually going to start with Speedster. So Speedster, World Series, Smasher, and then Stuntman. Here's uh, one issue that I have with this, and this is just for uh, this version of Monster Jam Urban Assault that I'm playing. I'm playing this on the Dolphin emulator, and the best version of Monster Jam Urban Assault is in fact on the Wii. But the problem is, every single time you select an event, the game just completely goes dark and you're unable to see what you're doing. And I hate that, it's, it's irritating. So for all you Gravedigger fans out there, this is for you, I'll be going in with Gravedigger first. But... First of all, let me point out one flaw that I've noticed with the game, all right? I love how the selection of trucks you can play as is much bigger. In the last game, there was only 20 trucks to choose from. In this game, seven more trucks join the arsenal. And the game actually tells you how to unlock them. And I really like, instead of them just appearing as a fucking lock, they actually appear as a detextured, nice and blacked out model that's also pretty shiny. And the game tells you exactly what you're supposed to do to unlock it. I like that. But um, here's my first issue with the game. The models, right? I mean, yeah, it's on the Wii and the graphics on Wii are, are ass, but this game right here, look at this. The sway bars. They're gone. If you look on the back here, there's another piece that they're supposed to be hooked up to and that's not present. It, it, it makes me suspicious on whether or not this game was actually finished when it was released. It doesn't look like it. You see, that's the, the high detail models for the PC, the Xbox 360, and possibly PlayStation 3. There is no PC version. There's no Xbox version or PS3 version for this game. It's, it's just uh, PlayStation 2, Wii, PSP, and Nintendo DS. So they didn't even make uh, a much more higher detailed version like they did with the last game. Issue number two, Blacksmith is also in this game, but I have a huge problem with how you have to unlock him. And it's for this reason and this reason only that he's gonna be the only truck in this game that I'm not gonna be able to unlock. Now, can I even find him? Okay, here we go. 
duke it out in multiplayer with a full grid so basically you have to play multiplayer this game does have split screen multiplayer but you know i'm on dolphin emulator so it doesn't look like i'm going to be able to play that and thus i won't be able to unlock blacksmith now back in the day when i was playing this as a little kid i had my little brother to play with we were up on this game all fucking day and so unlocking him wasn't an issue i find it real stupid like this wasn't in the last game why would you lock a monster truck behind multiplayer if you didn't have another controller on you so you could play split screen with somebody you would be fucked and you wouldn't be able to unlock him at the end of the day that's i, I find that to be incredibly stupid i don't know what they were thinking right so we're going in with grave digger here comes the master of mayhem grave digger The sparks look a whole lot more lifeless. This is just personal preference, but I also think that it was better in the last game where Scott Douglas just, I, I, I miss that guy, by the way. You know, his his commentary when I used to watch Monster Jam on speed, that was my fucking childhood, man, I'm telling you. I liked it better when they just said the monster truck's name in this energetic tone with the crowd cheering and the sparks going up too, accompanied by the monster truck starting up and then revving its engine. I think it was done a lot better in the last game. All right, now, here we are. This is London Rails, so we appear to be in London, England, or maybe London in Canada. Am I playing this shit on normal mode? I'm playing on normal mode. This game is a lot more fun to play on pro mode. The ironic thing is that when I played this game as a kid, I mainly played on normal mode. But then again, a lot of the shit I did as a kid made absolutely zero sense. Um, another issue I had with this game is the tracks. I don't know if it was just me, but the tracks felt like they were a whole lot shorter. And they feel a lot more, I, I guess you could say, lifeless too. Like, don't get me wrong, that part right there, we were ramming through the backyards, crushing through all those fences and shit. That, that, that's always a lot of fun. Look, we're at the end of the track already. Like we're, we're coming up on the end of the track already. Like, I, I don't know. It's, the, the tracks feel a whole lot shorter, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Tracks felt like they were a whole lot shorter. In this game, the trucks handle much differently. You actually have full control over where your truck goes, how, how high they fly, what direction they flip around in and shit like that. Oh, shit, I'm out of boosts. Okay. Let's fix that. Let's jump over this. Provided I can make the jump which I can. Also, I was never really a fan of how when you, you know, destroy stuff, right? It just clips into the ground. Now, I can see why they did that because those are the remains of the, all those objects laying around all over the track. It could cause performance issues, and it did when I played this game on PS2. When I played the last game on PS2, I'm sorry, I didn't have any performance issues with this game. But with the last game, I did have some performance issues on PS2. I vividly remember it. Hang on, let me shut up and see if I can catch up, because I'm not trying to lose this race. But it's a good thing, you know, those two, you know, crap. What's going on with their tires, too? Both of them have loose tires. Uh-oh. And, you know, since they're on promo, they're taking this way. They're jumping over that ramp. Hopefully, War Wizard can keep that wheel on. Good lord. <laughs> that is so distracting. Okay. But, yeah, just like that, I'm the winner. And how long did it take? Two minutes. Two minutes and 15 seconds. They seem to have taken some drastic measurements to make this game much easier. And look, I unlocked El Toro Loco. I, I have no idea how, to be honest, but you know, hey, it is what it is. All right, crush hour. Now you have to play an eliminator race to unlock War Wizard. And to do that, you, you just gotta be in first place on every lap and you'll unlock him. It's not hard. Now, it's it's a little bit more carnage filled on promo, not gonna lie. Not not all that much, though. I don't know what the fuck the, the AI trucks are doing. Iron Outlaw is eliminated. I think he looked much better in the, the last game. Now, another thing I forgot to point out, obviously, you know, Urban Assault. We're in cities. We are racing through cities and we're destroying them. I have no idea who got eliminated last lap, but I don't really care. Oh no, Blue Thunder. Rip. It was one of my favorites. And I win. See what I'm saying about the tracks being way too short? This track right here being a perfect example. Now, yeah, the handling was questionable in the last game, but if you ask me, I think that made the game a lot more fun to play. And look, I unlocked War Wizard. You do that by just being in first place in every lap on an Eliminator race. 
Now here's where the real money is at right here. Sunset Smash in head to head. It's a new game mode. It wasn't in the last game. I'll be taking El Toro Loco in with me. And basically, head to head is not an event for the weak hearted. You race against opponents in the opposite direction. So it's two trucks going in the direction me and War Wizard are facing right now. And two trucks are going in the opposite direction back there. You see Spitfire and uh, Jurassic Attack. And I found it so much fun to smash into the trucks on the other side head on, like so. What? Why am I getting these frame rate drops? What the hell? Okay, it's probably a setting that I need to fix in Dolphin Emulator, which I'm gonna do after I'm done recording this. The frame rate drops are just so distracting. All right, let's smash into them again. Where they at? I'm gonna smash into them again. Aw, oh, I missed one. I didn't miss you though. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Jesus Christ. Not feeling the graphics. I don't know why they didn't make a better high detailed version of this game like they did with uh, the last game. And it makes me curious though, like what happened during the development to where this game and the, and the models and shit feel unfinished? What happened? Did they run out of time? What happened? If any of y'all have any information on that, then please feel free to comment down below because I want to know. That's going to be it for racing. You know, next video we'll do this and then another eliminator and another head to head and so on until we reach the very end on to the world series which is the stadiums so round one forward field freestyle let's do it freestyle is a true monster jam event i'm sure it is use all the stunts in your arsenal smash as much as you can use all of the corners and keep your truck on its wheels and you're sure to take the win i'm gonna go ahead and crush these signs here too before i head up into the stadium that had its door closed on me for whatever reason. Okay. All right. Now it's the same rules here, except it's a lot easier to win. And I mean a lot easier to win freestyle in this game. You have much, much more control of your truck when it's in the air. Whatever control you use to turn the truck, you can go whichever way you want, like this. I just have to hit forward and I just did me a motherfucking front flip. And yeah, same rules apply, just keep a good combo going. And you'll be sure to, to easily win in no time. Am I going to keep my combo? Yes, I am. Okay, I don't know how I didn't lose it, but I'm not complaining. Let's hit these cars here. Let's hit those. Let's also do a nice flat spin. Got to do some donuts. All right, now for... Oh, I accidentally did an endo, but what I was trying to do... What, oh, shit, okay. Hang on. Reverse donut. It's much harder to do, but it's possible. Those are buses, but okay, Scott Douglas. All right. And see, I won. I maxed out everything. Stunts, stunt variation, obstacle use, time use. I did all of that. It's much easier to win. All right, so my next target is 1 million monster points. Okay, and I unlocked Black Stallion. Nice. And Spitfire, okay. All right, nice, nice. I, I don't know how to unlock those bitches, but okay. All right, I need 1 million monster points to unlock Blue Thunder. 1,500,000, okay, for Destroyer. 2 million for Bounty Hunter. 2,750,000 for El Toro. Oh, no, that's not El Toro. I have El Toro's unlocked. This is Bulldozer, okay. 3,500,000 for King Crunch. 4 million for Avenger. 4,500,000 for... Spike Unleashed, which is basically just Brutus, but uh, recolored. I got to finish World Finals in only 10 seconds, and that's for Suzuki. Blacksmith, we already know we're not going to unlock him. Fly over 160 meters in Monster Jump for Captain's Curse. Win Mall Madness in less than 2 minutes and 30 seconds to unlock Iron Outlaw. Knock a wheel off while racing to unlock Jurassic Attack. Score 30,000 skill jump points. Win the Smasher series for... Who is that? That's Devastator. Okay. Win the Speedster series for Backwards Bob, one of the most interesting and unique monster trucks I have ever seen in my life. Win the Stuntman series for Air Force Afterburner. And win the World series for the original Gravedigger, or what I call now Gravedigger the Legend. I got a big ass water bottle that I keep in my room with me. Giving me plenty of that good old H2O. Alright, so we're in the Metrodome now. 
Y'all remember the Metrodome? While it still existed, it got torn down. It doesn't exist anymore. But you know, this was a big stop on the Monster Jam tour. And you know, it still is. Monster Jam still goes to Minneapolis, but a new stadium was built in the Metrodome's place. All right, let me stop talking about Metrodome trivia and focus on the event. So far, so good. I got a nice 16, I'm sorry, 18, now 19 times combo going. I'm gonna do another backflip. Hey, Let me do another one. And another one. Oh no, I'm doing a front flip. What the hell? Let's try it again. Front flip. Oh, am I gonna make it? Yes, I am. Okay, let's do it again. Oh shit, okay. Gonna do another flip, and then a donut. That was a clean transition. Y'all saw that? All right. I kind of slacked a little bit on the stunt variation, but it's all right. I still won. That's all that matters. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to win. Now for stadium racing. I completely forgot what stadium we're in. Off we go. But I'm I'm racing against Gravedigger. See, there he goes. Right. Okay. All right, that's it for World Series. Now we're moving on to Smasher. And you know we're going to take Maximum Destruction with me because it's in his name. In the Smasher series, we just have to destroy stuff. And, you know, Maximum Destruction. Y'all see the connection there? All right. So basically, in um, this event is called Devastator. Well, not really an event. It's a mini game, I guess, where you basically... Just smash a whole bunch of stuff and build up a nice big ass damage bill. So, so far we've got over $57,000 worth of damage that I've done to this location. Uh, I'm not a fan of how there's like no music, so I'm just going to add my own in. No, 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 no. I think I need something a little bit more fast paced because I am on a timer as y'all can see. There we go. That's better. $125,000 worth of damage so far. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of damage. Uh, the king of car- hell yes. Maximum destruction is the king of carnage. And I'm not just- that's not just for show. I'm not just saying that because I'm a Max D fan. Like, I have been watching Monster Jam since, you know, 2007. I know my Monster Jam trivia. All right, airstrike. Multiple attack angles, a target-rich environment, and a monster truck. What's not to like? Take out as many obstacles as you can to win. And that's basically what this is. Just gotta hit a ramp and destroy stuff. I'm gonna hit this angle now. I only hit two op objects that time. Okay. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely winning this. Hell yeah. Yep. Next is another Devastator, where we're in the town square and we're just gonna fuck some shit up. The town is gonna pay for all this damage. How much are they paying for? I'm going to be the judge of that right now. Scott Douglas, can you please shut the hell up? I'm not getting left behind. All right, man. Come on, stop with that. Who needs trees anyway? I'm gonna smash up all the trees. Uh, how did I not hit this area yet? Okay. Doesn't matter. I won, but look at that. I absolutely Son, destroyed everybody. Both figuratively and literally. Because I destroyed the whole map. <laughs> oh, look. I've surpassed my career total, so I'm going to unlock Blue Thunder now. Yay. I'll play as him. There he is. Blue Thunder, the twin brother 
of Stone Crusher. You know, for, for Stone Crusher, they literally just took the Blue Thunder model and repainted it. They're not fooling anybody. All right, so now we've done our three events for Smasher. We're gonna move on to the last and final event, which is Stuntman, and then I'm gonna end the video. Shoot for the biggest airtime in this event. Every destructible counts as a multiplier. Monster Jump needs exactly that to win. So basically, launch your truck as far and high in the air as you possibly can. I need to save up on my boosts. All right. And every object that I hit is going to be a multiplier. This wasn't in the, the last game, too. You know, these, these mini games that they added, it's not much, but it's a nice little touch. Add some more life to the game, you know? And I win. All right, that was easy. Did I unlock Captain's Curse, too? Because this is the event you got to play in order to unlock him. Yep. Okay, nice. Tricks, trick it out in Trickster. Flat spins, barrel rolls, and flips. Everything goes. The winner is the truck with the most points. So basically, I just got to do a whole lot of uh, tricks. You know, stunts, flipping, like so. And I got to do that to earn points. Wait, I get points for destroying stuff too? Okay, that makes sense. It took me 12 fucking years to realize that Trickster is basically just freestyle but outside of stadiums. Like, I had no idea. I never really figured that out until just now as I'm recording this. Oh my god. But yeah. Just gotta do the same shit that I do in freestyle in order to win this. Let's hit another backflip. Ow. Now for another front flip. You can never have too many front flips. Hey, let me see if I can get a donut in real fast. Hang on. Can I get out of here? All right. Do a donut. All right. And that'll do it, I hope. Yep. Okay. Last but not least, skill jump. Line up and put that pedal to the metal. Get your truck through the targets on the skill jump board for big points to win. I'm going to see if I can go for 30,000 because I need that to unlock Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Here we go. Oh! But yeah, basically, you gotta send your truck flying through those holes. Hey, nice, nice. Let me see if I can do it again. Well, actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna do it on the other side. Oh! Yes! All right. Let's do it again. Oh! Hey! All right, attempt five out of five. If I can land this, I'm gonna reach 30,000 and unlock Monster Might Dalmatian. Oh shit, did I make it? Yes, I did, I, th I think. Yep, 30,000. In, in the first attempt, so I unlocked Monster Might Dalmatian. Nice, nice. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. Not really too much else to say, except despite the game's flaws, I am still on a massive nostalgia trip right now, and I hope you guys watching this are as well. Next video, it'll be the same thing. Three Speedster events, three World Series events, three Smasher Series events, and so on. And uh, about the game's flaws that I pointed out, please don't think that I'm trying to shit on what was a big part of your childhood, because that's not my intentions here. It's just my opinion regarding what I like and what I don't like about the game. If you still enjoyed the game as a kid regardless of the issues, then there's nothing wrong with that. Hell, believe it or not, I myself also still enjoyed the game as a child despite the flaws, and even now, as I'm recording this, I still find it quite nice to be playing this game again. I hope you guys understand. Now with that being said, I'm pretty sure I've been rambling for long enough, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Keep wearing those masks, keep washing those hands like there's no tomorrow. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.